Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a topic video about what I have experienced, the negative side effects of bulimia and just purging in general by vomiting and over-exercising. Um, I've only used laxative once and what I experienced with that was nothing I would ever wish upon anyone to experience. If you use laxatives, my heart goes out to you because that was, like, the worst experience, any sort of wise, I have ever had. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, there's, like, a ponytail that's bugging me. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry about the lighting in this video. I'm sorry that I look kind of, like, really tired, like my eyes. I noticed they're all dark underneath here. That's because I've been, I've just been really tired lately. I don't really know why. Well, actually, I do know why. It's one of the side effects to bulimia. Um, and also, I was recording this in the morning when I was more awake. And I looked more awake, even though I looked tired, but I looked more awake than I do now. And it turned out, like, a lot better. But then, like, at, like, 4 minutes and 31 seconds, it went dead. The camera went dead. I went to go get new batteries, and new batteries were not found that were charged. So, I just kind of had to wait a while and I'm just like mm, because like I had so many good like reasons at the time to what was going on you know so I'm gonna try my best to do this video okay <clears throat> one of the things I forgot to put on here is that when you are bulimic for so long your body begins to get used to purging that it will just automatically purge anything you put into it um, now, big things for me that will be purged, like, that my body automatically purges up is anything coffee-flavored. Um, I don't know why. It's just, like, whenever I drink, like, a mocha or, like, a frappuccino or something, it just automatically comes up. Anything liquid that I have, if it's not water, if it's, like, let's say it's a drink from McDonald's, like a frappuccino or a shake or something, it will come up ice cream, it automatically just goes up no matter how much I eat. Um, and this is really hard on treatment because if you're in treatment and you have to eat and then you like, your body wants to throw up, what are they going to do? What are those consequences you're going to get for purging your food by not, you know, sticking your fingers down your throat, but just, you know, like purging without even needing to, you know, stimulate the reflex. Um... The number one thing I complain about is headaches. I get headaches so often. I was just purging a while ago, and I had this major headache, and I was so weak while I was purging. I was just like, am I done yet? And I was like, okay, once I'm done with this, I'm not going to do it until a while. I'm going to take a break. Then I got into the kitchen, and I was like, oh, my gosh, cinnamon rolls sound really good right now. And I'm like, I took, like, a minute, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this break. So, okay, off topic, but even ibuprofen doesn't really help my headaches. Um, I take, like, two to, usually I take, like, four or three because it's a really bad headache and I kind of just want it to go away. Um, but really those headaches, they just, they don't go away. It sucks. Um, also, there's, like, the binge and purge hangover. You're, you have this major headache, you're really tired, you're shaky, and it can turn into a panic attack because your electrolytes are low. Another thing is that you're always tired. Um, yeah, before I went into treatment, because I overdosed, I was so tired all the time from exercising, not eating anything all day, and then going home and binging and purging, and yeah... And I'd go to bed at, like, 7 to 8 o'clock because I was just that tired. And i wake up at, like, 7 in the morning just naturally. I didn't need anything to wake me up. I was just that tired that I'd go to bed at, like, 7 to 8 every night because I was just so exhausted from the cycle. Um, also, you get lightheaded a lot. After and before you binge, if you're, like, starving, you're really lightheaded. And after you purge or during your purge, you get really lightheaded, and you're just like, oh, you want to just fall over, shaky, yeah, this usually causes my binges, is because I'm shaking so bad that I need food, and then I binge, I end up binging, and then the shakiness goes away, and then I end up purging again, it's just like a vicious cycle, because then you get shaky all over again, 
panic attacks. I've had, I don't know, probably like 10 panic attacks over because of my bulimia. Because I noticed that while I was in treatment, I wasn't binging and purging, and I didn't get any panic attacks. So, basically, my panic attacks were from binging and purging because of the electrolytes that it takes from you. Um, broken blood vessels. Yes. Um, when I first began my bulimia, about a month into it, or about two months into it, I'd say, I had this red dot on my eye. One of these eyes, like, right here. And if I go like this, then you'd be able to see it. And it was like, I read about it online, that you can actually, your whole eye, if you're bulimic, can become blood red because of broken blood vessels. Because if you purge really hard. Um, yeah, and I noticed that whenever I purge really hard, um, I get this insane headache. And it sucks. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of something else that relates to this. Oh, yeah, also, if I go up, like, let me see, y'all. Okay, if I turn my eyes this way, there's, like, it hurts right over here somewhere. And I noticed this a while ago. If I would, like, go up like that, look at this, look it up, look up at the ceiling, it would be, like, this intense pain up here because of something broken up there because of my purging, um, also, acne, yes, it does promote acne, it makes it worse. Um, I have proof from this because before I was bulimic, my acne wasn't near as bad as it was into about four months of me being bulimic because if you go back to my video of my, people from my school know about my eating disorder, my acne just looks horrible in that video and that is really, the reality of bulimia is that it will fuck up your skin. <laughs> Um, yeah, because while I was in treatment, my acne, like, cleared out so much. And now look at my skin. It's, like, getting really bad again. See up there? I'm not wearing any makeup right now. This is just leftover makeup from yesterday, but I cleaned off my face because I want to be very smart to keep it on. <laughs> um, so I used to have no acne on my nose, and, like, this was all clear, and it was just, like, scars that were, like, fading away completely, and now they're coming back again because I'm purging, like, every day a lot. <clears throat> so... Um, bloated stomach. Yeah, after you binge and purge, your stomach will be so bloated because it had to, like, stretch that much for you to binge. Um, irritableness. Um, when you are bulimic and you are, you want to binge, you're, like, all you can think about is the food and you're just, like, tapping your leg, you're, like... Get out of the house, people. I need my fucking food. I need the fucking toilet. You're just like, no one can get in your way. And you can just... Yeah, and if someone says something, you just don't want to be around people. You just want to be on the food, you know. It's not fun to be around someone who is um, wanting to binge. Um, you're always thinking about food. Um, ever since this eating disorder started, I was already thinking about food 24-7. But now it's like 200% of the time I'm thinking about food. Um, basically, the only way I can escape is from my dreams. And in my dreams now, it comes in there too. Like, I'm trying to binge without people finding me. And then, like, I'm trying to steal binge food. And then someone catches me or something like that. And it sucks when you're constantly thinking and dreaming about food and you can't get away from it and when you're trying to go to sleep at night and you're having cravings to binge and you open your eyes and you're just like I am too tired and you close your eyes and you're like I want food and you open your eyes and you're like too tired it sucks um and when you're bulimic you're usually um you're a normal weight or you're a little hot heavier than your normal weight because of the calories will get absorbed after an hour of staying in your stomach. I've heard that a lot of places. And it's hard to purge everything up. Um, what I do is I chug, like, I'd say 10 to 12 ounces of water before I binge. And then I drink water in between. And then I purge. And then I drink, like, two to three glasses of water. I purge again, and then I do it again, and then I'm done. So that's how I make sure I get everything out, because I don't want to gain weight from this. I haven't gained weight yet, but I have gained weight in the past from this behavior of buying a purging and binging. 
So, yeah, one of the cons of this is weight gain. And you can actually be very malnurtured and be at a normal or higher weight because you're um, absorbing the calories, but you're, the foods that you're binging on are typically going to be the sugary, fatty foods and the oily, salty foods. It's nothing really nutritious that you are typically binging on. So you could stay at a healthy weight and be tired as fuck. Shaky as fuck because you are so malnurtured and you're not getting the right nutrients and you can develop osteoporosis because you're not getting enough calcium and protein in your diet and you do need phosphorus and some other vitamin D. You need phosphorus. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right and calcium and vitamin D and I think vitamin E to absorb calcium and there's actually more calcium per calorie ratio and protein and broccoli than milk. Um, yeah. And there's no cholesterol or bacteria in broccoli as long as you wash it and it's not like too old, you know. So yeah, I just had to add that. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed. And to the person who asked me to do Draw My Life, I'm not very good at drawing and <laughs> that'd be too time consuming. I am sorry, I'm just not that good at time consuming videos, so sorry. Um yeah, have a nice day. Follow my blogs. Please feed the models Ballerina My Gray and Coffee and Broccoli. And my We Heart It. Please feed the models. So yeah. And don't forget my beauty channel, which is Vamp Kisses X. I need to upload a new video there because I haven't uploaded one in 10 days, which is really, really bad. Yeah. But I can't upload a video looking like this to that channel. Like, that's just not okay. Because that's like a beauty channel. And this channel is like for eating disorders. And no one really cares what you look like. They just want to know how to recover. And they want to know how you're doing. And, like, want to support you. And I want to support you guys. We don't really care what we look like. We just kind of help each other for this. Does that make any sense? So, yeah. And I'm going to show you guys my wall. Because it's freaking awesome. Probably be doing a room tour soon. Because if I clean my room enough. Um, okay. So, my wall. Tumblr pictures. Okay. I'm going to put that down. My mom said that one's inappropriate, but I just kind of hide it now. She also said that this one is inappropriate of Adele, which I think is dumb. Let's cuddle. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how long this video has been so far. That is Kara Develine, if I pronounce that right. I want her thigh gap, and I want that ice cream cone, and I want her hair. And I want her thigh gap. And I... Love those pets. And yeah. And I love that outfit. And yeah. So that is my wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. <laughs>